Read a book every day for small children. Hi kids, let's read the story Peppa in Space. It was Space Day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends were very excited. Does anyone know what space is? asked Madam Gazelle. Space is the physical universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere, said Edmund Elephant. Edmund was a bit of a clever clown. That's right, Edmund, said Madam Gazelle. And today we are going to talk about something you find in space. The moon, shouted all the children. Yes, said Madame Gazelle. Can I live on the moon? asked Danny Dog. It is possible, replied Madame Gazelle. But you would need to take oxygen, water and lots of other things with you. Can you jump in muddy puddles on the moon? asked Peppa. No, said Madame Gazelle. There is no rain to make puddles. What can you do on the moon then? asked Peppa. You will soon find out, said Madame Gazelle. Because today we are going to the... Moon! Yay! shouted Pedro Pony. Not exactly, said Madame Gazelle. We are going to the Space Museum. Oh, sighed the children. At the museum, you will train to be astronauts, said Madame Gazelle, and see what it is like to walk on the moon. Wow! gasped the children. Miss Rabbit arrived to take everyone to the Space Museum. Really? We should be going there in a moon buggy, said Danny Dog. Not a bus. How long until we get there? asked Peppa. As long as it takes you to finish your apple, replied Miss Rabbit. I have finished my apple, said Susie Sheep. Does that mean we are there? How about we sing a song for Miss Rabbit? Suggested Madame Gazelle. Something like... But before Madame Gazelle could finish, all the children started to sing. We going to the moon. We'll get there soon. And they sang it to Miss Rabbit all the way to the museum. When they arrived at the museum, the children were met by a real astronaut, Grampy Rabbit. Hello there, fellow astronauts, he boomed. Our space training mission today will take us to the moon. The ride may be bumpy, but it will be worth it when you get to see what it's like to walk on the moon. Hooray! 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 cheered the children. The children put on their special space suits and boots as quickly as they could. It's time to hop on board our spacecraft, called Grampy Rabbit when they were ready. Five, four, three, two, one, bus off, cheered all the little astronauts together. Grampy Rabbit and the children zoom off their training mission. On the way to the moon, Grampy Rabbit told the children all about the different planets in the solar system. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and the dwarf planet Pluto, he said. Robots have landed on Mars, but no one else has done so yet. George was listening very carefully. Mars? He whispered to himself. We have landed on the moon, said Grampy Rabbit. Now, my little astronauts, it's time for you to see what it's like to walk on the moon. 
Just take one small step out of the spacecraft and one. Peppa and her friends all took giant leaps out of the spacecraft wearing Grumpy Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. Whee! 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 The children had so much fun bouncing up and down with the anti-gravity rubber bands. They sang a song over and over again. Listen to our space tune. We are walking on the moon. Boing. 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 Wow! Gasped Peppa, bouncing over Madame Gazelle's head. Walking on the moon is great, but jumping up and down on it is even better. It's time to get back down to earth now, children. Call Grampy Rabbit. Oh, sighed the children. When they arrived back on earth, the children were sad. Remember, children, your adventure is not really over, said Grampy Rabbit. It's just beginning. If you keep training, you can all be real astronauts like me one day. Yay! Yay! We are going to the moon, sang the children. And they sang it on the bus all the way back to playgroup. Space is amazing, Daddy, said Peppa that night. I want to be an astronaut so I can jump up and down on the moon every day. But George had set his sights on somewhere else. Marsh, he whispered. Ah, said Daddy Pig. Are you going to be the first piggy on Mars, George? George nodded his head and smiled. That night, George dreamt he had gone into space with Peppa and they were the first little piggies ever to jump up and down on Mars. Boing!